They are four of the most common plants we know. We've always thought that we controlled them. But what if, in fact, they have been shaping us? We don't give nearly enough credit to plants. They've been working on us. They've been using us for their own purposes. Four plants that have traveled the road to success by satisfying human desires. The tulip, by gratifying our desire for a certain kind of beauty, has gotten us to take it from its origins in Central Asia and disperse it around the world. Marijuana, by gratifying our desire to change consciousness, has gotten people to risk their lives, their freedom, in order to grow more of it and plant more of it. The potato, by gratifying our desire for control, the control over nature so that we can feed ourselves, has gotten itself out of South America and expanded its range far beyond where it was 500 years ago. And the apple, by gratifying our desire for sweetness, begins in the forests of Kazakhstan and is now the universal fruit. These are great winners in the dance of domestication. A look at nature the way you've never seen it before with best-selling author Michael Pollan. And this relationship of the plants learning how to gratify our desires and our working for them in exchange for this is what I call the botany of desire. Major funding for this program is provided by the National Science Foundation, where discoveries begin. Additional funding is provided by the Alfred P. Sloan.